Ooh, coming up in this video, bro. So what you just heard is the beat that I'm going to be making today from scratch. So I'm going to start with a bass line and before we get into it, make sure to check out the links that are down below to get everything that I use to make my beats. Now let's get to it. So I'm going to start with a bass line, right? So I've got a sound loaded up in here called the Big Saw Bass. So I'm going to start my bass line with that and then we're going to build this Afro House track from there. So my tempo is 120. just like that but the notes themselves are not sounding how i want them to sound because you can see there are different colors meaning that is different velocities you can see there's blue ones and green ones but i want them all to be at the same velocity like the velocity of the blue ones which is around velocity 30 number 38 right there so i'm just going to select them all press shift and option and make sure all of them let's say around 40. and let me quantize let me drop them down to 30. I like how all of these are sounding, so I'm going to add an EQ right there, like the channel EQ and just turn it on and make sure I can analyze and I'm going to turn them up a little bit like 5 dB because I was playing them soft and we lost some, we lost some velocity right there. So I like how that's sounding. Now I'm going to add some more instruments. I'm just going to throw in an empty channel here and go into synthesizer and go into plucked. So I found something I want to record here. I'm just going to be playing these notes. Just like that. That's a nice simple melody that I'm going to add to that. And quantize and again do the velocity thing. And I'm also going to check if I can play around with the cut off of these sounds, right? So I'm going to come here and open up the and open up the controls right here so I can see this one does not have a cutoff right there this one does have one so I'm gonna start with that one with the base so I'm just gonna select it make sure that it shows right here and then I'm gonna create some automation points like that and I'm gonna raise it all the way up so it can automate just like that that sounds dope now let's go back to the other one to the retro synth So I can play around with that because these are super important sounds in my track. So I want to make sure that they flow nicely and they have a really nice rhythm to them. So that's why I'm automating them this much. Ah, that sounds really good. I like how it's building up the energy right there. That sounds great. That sounds great. So now I'm going to add another. I'm just going to duplicate this one and delete whatever is there. So I can just go back into the same folder without having to redo that again. That's just a hack that I like to use. I'm going to record this little melody in here. I know it was really crude right there. It wasn't making sense in some places I was at a time, but that's why we got quantized for that. So I can just quantize and I'm gonna throw on some silver verb right there. And also some stereo delay. And I can push this over to another bar so that maybe this can play at another place where I want it to play that is not the same place that this previous melody is playing. So now let's move on to a kick. So I'm going to go into my own samples and look for a kick. I'm going to come here in my Deep House sample pack and I'm just going to go here into kicks. Okay, I like 16 so I'm going to drop it in here like that. Oh, that sounds so good. What I want to add to this sound, I want to add a bit crusher right there and raise the resolution up. Yeah. 
yeah i'm just gonna add 3 db of drive and just leave it like that just to give it a little bit of crunch i'm gonna go into symbols and add a symbol i love that so now i can go into my afro samples so i'm gonna go into my afro drum kit Go into some percussions. Ooh, that sounds good. I like that shaker sound there. I'm also going to use that. like the sound here I'm gonna drop it in as well oh I love I love how that's hidden I'm just gonna crop it right here right here at the end at the last bar right there at the fourth one I like that, I want to add a hat. This one sounds good enough, hat number 26. I'm gonna drop that in there just to add some shine to the drums. I'm gonna create a pattern region. And I'm gonna add some stereo delay to this. Now this hat sounds much better than it sounded before, right? Sounds really good now. And what I can do now is I can look for a loop that I can throw in to really make everything come together when it comes to drums. Okay, that sounds good. And I'm just gonna trim it like that so that it's a shorter loop and then it's just gonna repeat as is. And I'm gonna drop it down, the velocity down like that. Hey, this is coming along, bro. Okay, now we need some atmospheric sounds so we can look for some pads or some atmospheric synthesizer sounds like that. Let me pick a lead for, for this. And with leads, they can be very tricky because some of them sound horrible. So you just gotta be careful of your sound selection. Yo, so I found the sound and it's really working nice with the track. It's adding some really nice rhythm to it. And I just had to press R to record as I was just busy freestyling because I didn't want to stop and then reset and then play it again because otherwise I could have forgotten exactly what I played. <laughs> so that's why I just start, started recording uh, immediately as soon as I felt that the, you know, the vibe of the instrument was nice. So again, I'm going to quantize that. I mean, just listen to this. Oh, that sounds good, bro. That sounds good. And I'm just going to duplicate it again and go back into the same folder of leads and find some nails. That sounds dope. That sounds dope like a lead. It's adding some really nice emotion to the track. What I can do now is I can just duplicate this and on this section here, I can take off the drums. I can remove the kick like that and at this portion here I can add a top kick so I'm going to pick up my top kick right there and drop it in and I can just copy the pattern of the main kick and I can put it right there and what I can do now is I can just rename like name regions by tracks like this so that everything is named correctly because when you do these copying it copies the name and then whatever's right there has the wrong name.
it sounds really great but one more thing i want to try to hear this track is let's say with a little bit of mastering so i've got a mastering chain that i have set up here that i can just load up like this so i want to hear how the track sounds with a little bit of mastering so i can have an idea of when i master it what it can sound like let's see what happens if i try and add some vocals okay so here's with some vocals Okay, so this track came out really dope i really like it you can give this beat a rating out of 10 down below let me know what you think but other than that if you found this entertaining and educational and informative you can make sure to let me know down below and leave a like and also subscribe if you're new here but i'm gonna check you out in my next video i'm x and i'm out peace